Uh, first of all, welcome back to Norway Chess. You played so many times here. What impressions do you have uh, after all these years? And happy to come back? Yes, always. I, I've said it many times already since I got here that uh, I enjoy this tournament very much. Um, I like being in Stavanger. It's a, it's a very nice, cozy tournament and uh, I enjoy being here. And it's also very well organized. So uh, I'm happy to be here. So it's actually the first classical game, game after so long time. How did it feel to play this long game? Wait, I, I actually played five Bundesliga games. It's not a tournament, so it's my first classical tournament, but I have played uh, uh, classical games in between. But yes, it still felt unfamiliar. Like I said uh, in the confessional that um, I... You had the sense of experiencing something again that should seem very familiar, but there was a long break. Yeah, for sure. And also there was this blitz event. Uh, let's start from there. And uh, there, were, there were some interesting results. You managed to beat Mag uh, Magnus Carlsen and all uh, your fans were very happy yesterday, you know, writing lots of comments. What do you think about that game and your participation in the blitz event overall? Uh, it was a nice game. I mean, I I had some specific idea against his spirit defense, which he always throws out against me. And um, then Something went wrong and I, I simply forgot that after knight d4 he could take on e4 and then we, he, I think there he's outplaying me a bit. I was very happy when I saw this repetition because I thought I'd saved a game which was getting difficult. He of course uh, turned it down and uh, at that point, I think still at the end he missed a win with uh, queen g1 somewhere. Uh, that was my impression that there was a moment when he could simply, play, instead of a3 maybe, uh, he could simply have played uh, queen g1 and then I have to resign because I he takes on the, uh, but um, obviously I'm happy he pointed out uh, that he had lost on time <laughs> and I had not realized it yet. I hope I would have realized it in the next few seconds, but it was nice of him to stop. Yeah, so it was a good start yesterday and it uh, continued today. So you won the classical game, which is very important. You got immediately three points. So what do you think about that game? How did it go? Um, it was a quite a solid opening. I was playing for a small advantage and then um, Maxime um, played a line with b5 but uh, he said he had missed queen, queen d2 uh, which actually keeps the advantage in a very simple way. Um, after that it was very complicated but uh, sorry? Did you consider to take on b5 at that moment? No I didn't like rook c5 rook c8 for a start and it uh, queen takes b5 feels wrong on so many levels that uh, no I did not seriously consider it. And after all, after that, you said it was complicated still. Yes, there were very interesting moments when he went rook b5. I went. I was spent a lot of time calculating f4, rook d5, queen b2, and I was checking if queen e3, f takes e5, rook d2, rook c2, rook d1 check, king h2. He can't improve, but neither can I move. And um, but he pointed out, and I was, I was. The question is, do I do it after King H2 or at the beginning? But I can play D7 somewhere, and it works. But I was happy that uh, this position is uh, at least White can repeat if he wants, and then I can also sit and think whether I have winning chances. So I thought that was a very good um, bet for me. Yeah, when he played like Queen F2, I mean, there are some ideas with Knight F3, and you played this calm move H3. I mean, was it easy for you to make it? No, but the thing is, I, I don't have a move. I wanted to play Rook C2. But then this move knight d3 started to worry me because I cannot take because of queen f1 check. And that's the reason for h3, to give my king another square, not only block it at knight g1. After knight d3, I felt I was losing control there. Um, and otherwise, if I go queen d1, it's even worse because after queen e3, I almost don't have a draw anymore. Uh, so, I mean, I'm not even equal anymore, I thought. So, I didn't have a move. I played h3, it was not a big deal, to be honest, with a knight on e2, even if he takes, there are no checks. Great game. Thank you very much for the interview and all the best in the next rounds. Thank, Thank you. you.